It's just a quick video showing if you have issues um, getting Android uh, like auto to connect. So it's going to do a full like reset and like, reinstall that Z-Link app you can see here. So the first thing we'll do is we'll go into Bluetooth device on here. Is it anything paired? But if there was anything paired, just like, click on it and click the trash button. Delete it to get that uh, back to the start. Next option here is going to click and drag on this. Put that into the bin. Then we're going to go into our apps. Click on APK installer. Scroll down to see the Z-Link. Settings. Just turn that on. Go back. Install. Open it when it's done. Yes to all that. Alright, so it's going to say this right now. So what we have to do is you just need to hook our unit to uh, the hotspot of our phone just to like, activate uh, this app. So do that to scroll down from the top. Push and hold on the Wi-Fi. Turn Wi-Fi on. Turn the hotspot on on your phone, which on an Android phone. Android phone that'll be under like settings, network, hotspot, and T ring. You just want to go on there and turn your and turn your Wi-Fi hotspot on. It'll have a password which you can also view on there, and, you, and you'll be able to see it'll like come up. Not that one. It'll come up in this list here. So here I've disconnected to uh, the Wi-Fi network nearby at the office. So. Now that's done, we can go back to our Z-Link app, tap to retry, and if that didn't work, I just have to click on that red button you can see at the top there in the background. So we've had successful activation now, so that is good. So the next thing I want to do is just want to jump on our phone here. And the easiest way to find it on an Android phone is actually just to go into search and type in Android. Go into Android Autos. Previously connected cars. Three dots, forget all cars. So that's got rid of that now. So that's done. And ensure that connect to our Bluetooth again. So follow all the same things you normally do. Search for the Bluetooth. If it doesn't come up like it's happening right now. Just go and forget uh, forget the device if you have just have it paired on your phone. And then just turn your Bluetooth on and off on your phone. and click pair new device and now we'll try and search again and it's come up so that was just because i just needed to forget it on the phone so car kit k on the phone it was a pre previously connected uh, device so i just i clicked on that and um and forgot that so when this stops like spinning we can click on this and join it Now on our phone here, it's going to be asking for a password, four zeros. Connected, it's gone green up here, so that is connected. So that's a good sign. restart my phone and we'll see what happens when the phone turns back so I just restarted my Android phone then and I went into the Bluetooth icon on the home screen and I joined it and then automatically uh, this has popped up so it's just saying unlock your Android phone 
So I've just unlocked my phone here now, it's saying continue for setup. And there you go, wireless Android Auto is hooked up there. So that's what you do if you have any problems. So the steps there were uninstall the app, delete the Bluetooth on your phone, and also on Bluetooth under here. Blue, yeah, delete car kick, uh, delete your phone on here with the trash, and then go into your Bluetooth settings in your car and delete car kit K, I forget it. Then reinstall the app, uh, the Z-Link app from uh, the APK installer. And then like reconnect to like the Bluetooth and then like restart your Android phone and it was all working then. So if you have any issues with Android Auto and our VD head units, those are steps to take.